How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at this powerful gaming laptop. It's probably the most powerful, the fastest gaming laptop I've ever reviewed on this channel. And it's packing the latest Intel processor, the latest Nvidia GPU in there. And it's even ready for those who would like to create content for the metaverse, which we're still trying to figure out what that is. But anyway, let's get into it and see what it's all about. This is the MSI Radar GE76 gaming laptop. And inside the box, you have the laptop itself. You do get some booklets as well, like usual, and you have the big power pack or power brick, which it definitely needs to keep things running smoothly. It's a 330 watts or 280 watts charger, depending on which version you go for. So it's super powerful. That's about everything that's inside the box, so there's not much to it. There are three SKUs as well for this. So you have the 12 UHS, the 12 UH, and the 12 UGS variants. And that determines which Nvidia chipset you get and the display type and so on. When talking about the design, the device itself is very minimalist uh, to the unsuspecting passersby. It looks like a regular laptop with one MSI logo on the lid on the outside and the color is very understated as well. You power it on though and you get a different kind of RGB lighting placement on the front lip of the laptop which can also be customized using the built-in MSI Lite app and per key RGB keyboard that's fantastic to type on although I didn't like the left positioning of the trackpad. It's a pretty beefy and hefty laptop weighing 2.9 kilograms so if you're planning on gaming on the go or you know taking to the local coffee shop and gaming away do bear that in mind. You also have plenty of ports as well to connect to old and new peripherals. On the right is a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-A, SD card reader, and another USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A port. On the left, you get one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C display port, and one audio combo jack. It doesn't stop there though. On the back is a mini display port, Thunderbolt 4, RJ45, full HDMI ports, and DC in. I particularly love that it's placed on the back as you can have your cables out the way making this desktop ready when connecting to external monitors. When you open the lid, you'll also notice the back of the laptop, the big booty, which is an interesting design. For those live streaming or doing Zoom calls, you get a full HD webcam capable of shooting 1080 at 30 frames per second. Okay, let's move on to the performance. Of course, performance is where it's at for anyone looking for a new gaming laptop. And as I said at the start, this is a really good gaming laptop with a lot to offer. First of all, it comes with three different variants and it boils down to which display type you like and refresh rate and which Nvidia GPU you'd like it in there. You have the option to choose between Full HD, Ultra HD and QHD. And they also come with different refresh rates depending on which one you go for. So the Full HD version will give you 360 Hz refresh rate on its IPS panel. The QHD gives you 240 Hz and the UHD with the lowest of 120 Hz refresh. Opening this particular model in front of us up, we have the latest 12th gen Intel Core i9 processor in there. You get Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU. You have 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM with Windows 11 Home or Windows 11 Pro. I was going to show some gaming as always, but the best no bullshit way to show you how powerful this gaming laptop is, is via benchmark scores. And I didn't think I would ever say this when it comes to benchmarking because Real life experience is worth more than benchmarking. 3D Mark with Time Spy, and again, it's no surprise how well it performs smashing other devices. And Cinebench scores on both single and multi core sees one of the best results I've seen to date. All it means for you though is basically this is a future proof laptop for gaming and it's even powerful enough to start creating your metaverse content. Using the MSI software, you can adjust the way that it behaves when it comes to cooling and performance. You can turn it all the way up, which results in a pretty loud fan noise or if you put it in quiet mode, you better be ready to have some sort of external cooling. It does have a good level of heat dissipation though with two dedicated fans and six copper heat pipes. And when it comes to the battery power, I still have it plugged in regardless, even though you do get a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery, regardless of which variant you opt for. So in summary, there's no doubt this laptop is super powerful. It's got everything going for it and it's super hefty, but that's a sweet, trade-off to have when it comes to things like the performance and the fan and all that stuff that's been put inside of this laptop. So that's it for the MSI Raider GE76. Guys, as always, let me know what you think in the comments below. Is it worth the price tag? Uh, would you get one of these? Is it the most powerful you've ever seen or heard of? Let me know in the comments below as well. But in the meantime, if this is your first time around here, please do subscribe, smash the bell notification as well so you get notified every time there's a video up on the channel like this. And do check out other videos up on the channel as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.